Hi, this is a quick demo of the Mar Apps Metro SDK. Uh, straight away, this is a sample application. Uh, you can see it's very nice. You've got a nice sort of glow effect on the window. Uh, it makes more sense. You can see it more behind another application there on the edges. A uh, nice sort of blue for the toolbar, task, title bar area. Uh, we've got loads of different types of buttons, square or rounded. So you can have a choice. Um, some circular ones here as well. Um, we've got toggle switches, check boxes, and radio buttons, of course. Uh, if we go to text, we've got all kinds of different text boxes. Uh, we've got watermarks for most of these. Some of these have got buttons on the right hand side. Uh, so the search one's quite nice. You can see yourself using that. We've got a rich text box over here, password box, and numeric up down, which is a very useful control. And so you can enter a format in here. Very nice. We've got a date picker. Uh, this one seems to have validation on it as well, which is quite a good feature. Selection. We've got loads of different types of grid view, list view, tree view, list box and combo box. Uh, we've got some sliders over here, some progress bars, vertical slider, range slider is quite nice, that's not a WPF control that's built in, it's custom. and some tab control examples here another data grid example data grid is quite nice, very minimalist and uh, some colours here used by the theme got some validation colours in here uh, mostly you just use the accent colour I guess we've got different versions of that and some other custom controls. The transition control is quite nice, seems to move up and down. Uh, so context menu and a flip view which looks like the control copied from Windows 8. Which is quite nice. And we can change the theme. So we'll click on the black theme, the dark theme. And you can also change the accent colour. So we'll go for a green change it back to light this is quite a ni nice feature uh, it's a kind of a dialogue very Windows 8 uh, progress dialogue so this one has got a progress bar in it scrolling along the bottom uh, we've also got um, icons this is a really great feature so a lot of people don't know that there's a font out there which has all of these icons and you can actually just use the font and make the font size quite large and you can use those characters as icons so he's provided um, lots of icons here fly out demo so you'll notice that when that window came in it kind of faded in there um, that's an animation that he's applied but there's a sort of black border on the left hand side there you'll notice I think he hasn't a set allows transparency to true on the window but if you set that that will go away um, this is really nice so a kind of Windows 8 style flyout um, you can see that it covers the whole window, you've got these uh, window buttons still visible and there's just different modes for how this can get shown, you've got an accent colour version of it as well, inverse and I'll quickly just show you the rest of this 
there's just a sort of message box there and some examples of how to do navigation so you can move backwards and forwards between pages if I quickly go through the code is you see these got few quite a few samples there sports.net 4 and 4.5 and if I take a look at the code 4.5 version seems to be quite well laid out um, it uses behaviors a fair amount so you've got the tilt behavior glow window behavior um, so it's using uh, system.windows.interactivity to use all those behaviors and if you go to themes you can see all the custom control styles there as well so overall quite a nice framework